Okay, uh, for this video, um, I've decided to go off script because, well, okay, I never have a script to begin with anyways, but I've been seeing, I just remembered that Project uh, Honolulu had the Windows Admin Center, Admin Center? Was released um, this last week. I had my list to like check out and like check out the final thing, and I never got around to it. So let's let's dig into this. These are my first thoughts, and we'll see what um, we can figure out. So let me. Uh, do I not have the browser up? Let's take a peek. Is it uh, Windows Admin Center? Yeah, this guy, Honolulu. Uh, lots of cool stuff. Let's just start the download. Start the download. Where's the download at? Hello? Oh, download now. Get the video. There we go. <laughs> I gotta actually click on the link. Um, I, I guess that was a heading? I don't know. I was just getting lost in the view. Okay. Ooh, but you know what? I have to add remove programs. I have the old version um, on here more likely. Honolulu. Uninstall. That's right. Nothing we're saving there. Ooh, and I gotta find out. I gotta see if I gotta see if my uh, module still works. So let's remove this one. Perfect. That went fast. And open. I accept because I read it. Select the port. I'm going to copy that for now. Tr trusted host, yeah. Sure, let me shortcut. Install. Yes. Okay, so what do we expect in the, this release? I think we should have some polish. I'm really waiting to see like the development, plan, configure, use, extend. This is what I care about. Oh, and an SDK. Do we have an SDK already? We'll soon launch. Hmm. This is what I'm waiting for here is to actually dive into the dive into the product. In May, Microsoft. Okay, I, I gotta watch this guy in May because that's what I'm seeing now is is the the SDK release coming Microsoft build like that's that's coming up really soon I think. All right, is this install done yet? Jesus, keep come on. Yes. More choices. I don't know what. Make sure. Be sure to select Windows. App. Okay, I got. I got gotcha. you. Windows Admin Center client. That's okay. There's my cert. I was prompted. Ooh, we got a tour. Welcome to the Admin Center. Help us build the future. Absolutely. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Okay, so... Desktop. Yes. Make changes. So probably freak out because I'm clicking on like the local system. I think that was my machine. 
Yeah. Like, I don't think I can actually manage my machine. I, don't, I have to spin up a VM, I think. Uh, what's our options look like? Manage extensions. Available extensions. Hmm. Let's do uh, get module. Find module PS Honolulu. I had this installed already. Maybe I didn't. I'm curious if it works with this. Come on, any time. Fine, what was that? Uh, Import Marvel PS Honolulu. There it is. Show computer local host local host I think that'd still work but that's not I mean I I, I went local host here but that's just not valid for my my set oh, I have to spin up VM I guess um, that's cool and all. I guess I got the most recent version set up here. I'll let that guy spin. I guess this is still valid. Get out of the server. Okay, that's my local. What's the default? Um, hmm, where do we go from here? Do we check out the files? Sure, let's check out the file system. We used to install to Honolulu. Wait, it's admin, Windows Admin Center. Uh, C, program files. Windows Admin Center PowerShell, what's in here? Modules Management Tools Management Tools <gasps> What? Is this a secret? Check this out There's something in here even Okay Bonus Okay, let's go CD Alright ls import module management tools get module and get command man module management tools enter sme ps session uh Functions like this. Uh, okay, that, that one might be quick. Let's do code. Let me just pick this tool itself. And let's bounce this guy down. 
Uh, is, is specify score enter to specify computer or specify exam. Password will be promoted. Promoted? Enable by adding that to module path. Okay. Let's get the exact command. We'll log on to Wikipedia and password. Alright. Prompt, sure. Get credential script. Use get credential. Oh, I hope it's not exporting that. Is it exporting that? Let's see what our exports are. So I collapse this. No, it's not because when it's signed, good. Good that it's signed. Um, and we're only exporting this one function. Okay. So that makes me feel better, just off the cuff here. So we're turning the credential. If credential, we return the credential. Gotcha. If message, right host message. Uh oh, right host. Naughty, naughty. Okay. Read host. We really doing a read host. I don't. Yeah, it is what it is. We'll just let this guy go. Enter session. Okay. Enter session. Try credential. Oh, uh, what? I don't like this at all. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go on a tangent real quick. So, you notice how there's no parameters on this guy? Uh, oh. You notice how there's no parameters, right? No parameters... Yet we're using functions or variables um, from outside the scope. Don't do that. Don't do that. Look at that. Look at that. These guys here, also from outside the scope. Do not do that. I don't know what CLS. Okay. Uh, you uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll function prompt. We're changing the prompt now. Okay. Local name, system name, machine name. So I run this, we get uh, function. All right, my local box, no problem. Lots of right hosts in here. Get it. Uh, that's print working directory, not password. I'll show you where you're at. I'm in this path because I was doing another video a moment ago. Password null. Okay. Manage as. Ask password always. Sure. Enter session. God, who? Yeah. Okay. Try to connect without a password. New PS session. Got it. If it failed, read host. Enter session. Export module member. So, is this just a fancy way to enter PS session? Right. That's all we're doing. That's all we're really doing in here. Right. Is. Wait. What? Hold on a second. First, we enter PS session. Session, and our error should stop. Okay? Once we exit the session, we do an invoke command session. Does this code even work? New PS session. Script block. Get credential script. Where did you come from? Argument. Username, prompt label. Sure, let's go back. Let's go back. Get credential script. Was this guy? Uh, 
It's this guy. So, what? Again. This here. Okay, this, this looks like magic, right? These args 0 and args 1. Use use parameters. Add the param block. Uh, uh, who do I talk to about this? Who do I talk to about this? You know what? I... You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna ping somebody on this because if you know, they're sharing this code, somebody had to do a quick pass to clean it up. Because um, in a way, I'd like Microsoft to kind of like set the bar. You know, like I feel like at times, um, I mean, the community puts so much love and care into the tools and functions that they write, and so often we get um, tools from outside the PowerShell team, right? I gotta give them credit for that. It's not them that's causing the problem, but other teams at Microsoft don't take this stuff seriously. And when we look at code, like, like I want to be able to, uh, maybe, maybe we're holding the bar too high for them, I guess. I don't know. All right, let me get out of here. I'm just gonna make myself mad. Modules. PowerShell, Admin Center. Anything else clever in here? A bunch of DLLs, UX, Win Putty Agent, maybe? S SME Desktop, SME EXE. Let's get the Gitter config. No, I don't want that. VS Code, come save me. Okay, so we support a repository. Um, so extensions must be maybe NuGet packages, possibly. That's something to be aware of. And update URI. They're still using the Honolulu name in there. Oh, oh let's not make changes to files that we're just poking at. Uh, auto flush, prove, trace. Runtime. Owen. Okay. Newtonsoft 6.0. Isn't there like a 10 or something now? Like, they're using a really old version of Newtonsoft, aren't they? Newtonsoft. What's the newest version? 11. Dot okay. Quite a bit newer. But it doesn't matter, right? I'm just curious what's in here. Is that it? Let's see what else is in this folder. And we got this desktop config. Um, app settings. Set a folder. Folder name. Service port. Service port. Core's origins. Everything. Is that appropriate? I guess, because this is, okay, this is designed for internal only. Um, so, what I'm looking at here is star on a core's origin means anything can connect to this. Now, if this is a GUI, right, so if we do, I don't know, if we do a GUI, and from the web, we hit that, Cores doesn't come into play at all, okay? Now, if there's a web page, oh yeah, we want to, that should not be star. Because let's say we hit this page instead. Actually, let me do, let me do this again. Let's do uh, blue, all right? Or green, let's do green. Here is our website, Project Honolulu, right? And we're coming in from our laptop, safe and secure, right? And what happens if we hit instead uh, the malicious page? So our connection going in 
goes to here. If this guy now connects to this guy to screen scrape and present a fake image back to this here, what we've done is we've kind of created this man in the middle attack. Now, I say that, but not really, because hopefully our certs, although if we're using internal certs, I can see that, right? If we're using like star.corp, um, we would trust this pretty easily. Um, yeah, okay, there's some certain scenarios here. But basically, having a core's origin of star says, as a web page, will allow anybody else to to pull content from here. And I said, but this is actually all happening in the browser. So all this is like the browser window can make calls out to other web pages and pull it back. So it could be even a client side hack um, that's faking this. Um, is that overblown? Probably. Like I'm not saying that's that's a cure all or a safety thing at all, but that's just my gut reaction when I see when I see you know core's origin of something um, like this that probably should just say like maybe it should be blank. I don't know. Safety, safety first, right? Okay, extension repository URL. We've already seen that somewhere else. Um, this update use HTTPS for local host true. Thank you. Uh, diagnostics. Um, okay. Well, cool. I think a lot has changed on this files. I mean, I don't know if I've dove into them before. Does anything else in here say is worth looking at? Uh, Owen, I think he's really important to this whole thing. I kind of said before. There's the old Newtonsoft libraries, right? If I look at details, six out of four, they probably maybe they don't update. They maybe they don't care. This guy though, what are you? A random application. Thankfully, we're signed. Do I dare run it? Hmm. 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 Let's take a peek at that executable. Okay. Now the point is, I mean, I don't expect everybody to make it to dive in and tear stuff apart like that, but this is the way I think. I like to like really see what, how my tools um, look under the hood. So when the agent can I do this, options, show input with mouse, escape, version. Dash dash version. All right, let's just do dev version. Dev version. Oh, I double paste on that. I did. Wimp Eddie. Uh, for Windows console programs. Rock assets. All right. Is there a license on this guy? License. What our license say? MIT. Do what you want. Okay. Just checking. Just checking. Um, anything we can glean from this? Probably not. All right, what's that? Anything else I wanted to see? This is the UX zip. Hmm, 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 hmm. Uh, 
expand archive ux zip to c temp ux I have to go see what's in there now, right? I mean, I may as well at this point. What else? What else is there to find? Um, SME desktop, not exe. That's an interesting one, right? Like this guy here. Maybe I'll take a peek at him. Uh, Owen. That might be what I ran. That might be what the shortcut points to. Because that might be the only other DLL in here. It's me. It's me. Alright, unzip. Thank you. SME desktop. Ah, okay. It fires this up. Gotcha. Uh. Star, star dot exe. Any other exe in here? No, just those two. Okay. Uh, temp ux. Ooh, what else we got in here? We got fonts, JavaScript, CSS. Some HTML. Oof. Oof. Ooh, PowerShell module. <laughs> uh, get import mo module. Microsoft PSD1. And get command. Module. Oh, I hit autocomplete there by mistake. Microsoft SME shell. Get get server inventory. Okay, is cluster. These must be some of the helper. Are these just redundant? Like, get sim instance win32 network adapter okay like that's the same command like the that's I suppose an interesting comment is it necessary to wrap that oh I suppose oh oh is it too much um there's something else in here too. I thought I saw CD modules. Ooh, ls star dash star dot psd one. Oh, oh. I wonder if these are the uh, modules for the actual Honolulu CD. Let's do event viewer. What's in here? Oh, a bunch of stuff I don't understand. See the PowerShell module? See the... Uh, okay, 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 I gotcha. What is... Anything really cool on here? Uh, service viewer, service roles, features, remote desktop? Process Viewer, PowerShell Console, Network Settings, Local User Groups, File, Failover, 
certificate. Like I wonder Windows Update Storage Replica. Okay. Let's check out this guy. I think he's interesting. Uh, CD. What, what? Oh, he doesn't have a. LS star slash star slash module. There's updates, service viewer, service manager, features, process viewer, network settings, user groups, hyper V, firewall, file explorer. Maybe that's my next check. File. Sure, why not? Import module. Eh. Get con um get command Microsoft Oh wait, I gotta do the full I keep doing that. The module name. Microsoft get item properties, get item type, get temp folder path, new folder, remove entries, file item path, file system entries, file system root, get item type, exist expand. I don't know what these have to do with um, this module, but that's interesting. So, some worth exploring. Uh, Got it here. Now this guy, who have an HTML, start index.html. Does he do anything? I guess not. Uh, anything else worth looking at? Assets? SVG, that's probably a uh, start file explorer. Just an explorer icon, yeah. Makes sense. Strings. Uh, get content. Strings.json. All right, just a bunch of strings. I mean, I'm sure it's messages, localization, all that fun stuff. Okay. Well, sorry, I went off on this tangent. Um, I thought it was just kind of cool to dive in and just explore. I haven't really, I, I mean, I looked at some of that stuff in the preview, so I kind of expected some of those things, but. <sighs> Is there anything else in this UX folder? Index? I don't know. Favorite icon, PNG, legal. Better look at that. Uh, get content, third party. Can't read it. What else is in here? Uh, EULA. All right, you may not use it if you don't have a license for software. Right. <sighs> okay, buddy. What I'll do is, I think 
that's a wrap. So I know I went way off on a tangent and I had no idea what to expect, but that's the a quick tour of what's under the hood and of Project Honolulu or the Windows Admin Center. Anyways, I'm just going to wrap this up here and I'm going to call it a night. So I'll see you guys uh, some other time.